Good morning and welcome back to the channel and to our last full day here at Lady Margaret's Park Caravan and Motor Home Club site. Uh, yesterday we had a wonderful day, we wandered around Chirk uh, Castle grounds and the gardens and then dropped his way down into Chirk, had a work, walk around Chirk. So if you haven't seen that video, it'll be the one before this one, so please go back and have a look at that video. Today we're going to go into Langothlan. Uh, Karen's arranged to meet her uh, sister and uh, they're going to have a bit of a girly time in Langothlan and I'm just going to do my own thing. So we'll probably go to Pond Silly Light Aqueduct. Sorry to any Welsh that's watching. Uh, my pronunciation isn't great to know that. So if you want to uh, join us, please carry on and watch this video and we'll see you when we get to Langothlan. Bye for now. <laughs> So here we are at Langotland. Got parked on a side road, apart for nothing. Mm. <laughs> Bonus. So here we are, we're in Langotland. No steam trains or anything. A bit windy as well. Karen and her sister have gone in D side cafe for a coffee. Well, I do my bit. We got the weather wrong again. Quite cold and uh, breezy actually. Have a walk up to Canal. An empty train station. Well, it's just closing down to the station platform. Everything's locked and chained up. I'm gonna have to return here at some point because that's one heritage railway I've never been on. And I've always wanted to, but every time I come it's either out of season. But uh, we'll have to come back sometime when it's open. So I say, unfortunately, we can't even get onto it, uh, the platform. So there's any canal boats up here. So that's where we're going. I'm sure it'd be a nice walk up there. And if I'm feeling energetic, I'd walk that way to on Silly Silly Late Aqueduct, which is four and a quarter miles. These are the horse drawn uh, barges, which aren't running at this time of the year. Right, I'm going to walk up to the Horseshoe Falls. I've never. Uh, so we'll have a look at that. I think it's just where the canal uh, gets fed from the river, but we'll have a look. Not many feeding you today, ducks, is there? Hmm? Not many canal boats in the marina. There's the famous nice Stedford building. I think that's what they call it anyway. About the old music festivals and that. Under the canal bridge. Getting close to the road up here. There's some nice properties, I must admit. This is the bridge the uh, road goes over.
It's, it's a breezy wind tunnel. Oh. Bunch of people out with the doggies, taking them for a walk. I can see the river down there. I don't know what sound's going to be like on this because I haven't got any wind muff or anything on this today. Is it going to be windy? Hopefully it's all right. Coming up to actual state train good yard here. So there's river down there. Train line running along bottom there. So there you have your Langothlan uh, railway uh, carriage storage storage area. I suppose it's uh, where they renovate the uh, carriages and that. Well, this you see an engine shed further up. Certainly not a diesel carriages. <laughs> No steam trains unless they're inside the uh, engine shed. Yeah, I think those carriages need some renovation. Little diesel shunter down there. It's a fairly long uh, engine shed anyway, so... Right, hopefully we're getting somewhere near now. Looks a bit shallow water here anyway, but it's still navigable, I don't know. It's a nice walk, I must admit. Some lovely views over the hills. Bridge 48W. Says I've still got three quarters of a mile to go, yeah. It's a nice walk. Yes, yeah, so if you ever at Langothlan, have a walk up this canal. Luckily, I'm filming this way because I think going back, someone will be in this uh, camera lens all the time. Certainly, plenty of green weed in there. Oh, I can smell a nice coal fire. I know it's not right for the environment, but smelling a coal fire really takes you back to when we were a kid and we to light fire in the morning. Yeah, so there's the river there. There's the canal, so we must be getting close now. I'm surmising there must be some kind of weir that uh, takes the water from the river and feeds the canal. I've never actually seen it, so we'll uh, find out in a bit. Probably just round next corner. He says with great faith. Or maybe it's round the corner after that. <laughs> We're getting next to the river, I know that. No, nope, we've got another bridge. <laughs> Gotta be close somewhere. Sun's disappearing behind hill. <laughs> so this is bridge 48AW. It's a bit dilapidated this one. It says I've still got half a mile to go. I'm not walking as fast as I thought I would. I was doing. That's a good river when it's flowing well. Especially over these rocks. Yes, it's flowing well, that river, at the moment. Not the narrowest part, though. So we've got a hotel down here. Must 
be about a quarter of a mile now then. So it's the Chainbridge Hotel. There's a chain bridge going across the river. It's actually a chain bridge going across the river. So that's the Change Bridge Hotel. Certainly good cliff place there anyway. Got to uh, go down to make canal. I think we must be getting close now. Another bridge, 49AW. I hope it's worth it after this walk anyway. <laughs> Close now, we've got to be close now. I think we've reached the start of Langotlan uh, Canal. So your water feeds in there. That must be the sluice gate out. And off it goes. What's jerk? So here we have. Horseshoe Falls. That's where the water comes into the canal. And the rest of the water goes in. Actually, uh, Horseshoe Falls aren't as big as what I thought they'd be, actually. But uh, I suppose it's enough just to uh, keep the water feeding into the canal. Oh, Thomas Telford knew what he was doing in them days. The wind's blowing too quick. So that's the Horseshoe Falls. Right, I'll walk my way back. Bye bye, Horseshoe Falls. Right, so we'll walk back towards Langotlan Wall. Wharf. So there's around 12 million gallons of water per day are drawn from the River Dee to supply the water to the canals. So that's going to be everything that uh, flows around. I'm sorry about the wind noise, but... So, that's the Chainbridge Hotel. That's where the uh, Horseshoe Falls are. And we're going to walk us way back down there. So it was William and Jessup was the most experienced canal kind of Appointed by Ellesmere Canal Company as their consulting engineer in 1791. Despite having overall responsibility, he was open to Thomas Telford's radical ideas. So Thomas Telford had no experience of waterways when he was appointed by Ellesmere Canal Company. General agent in 1793. This project was to make him one of Britain's most famous engineers. Very interesting. Right, I've got a mile and a quarter to walk back now. Well, that's another place off my tick list anyway. Things I do for YouTube, eh? That's another video diary for his channel. So uh, I'll walk my way back now. I hope you enjoy this little walk with Well, with me anyway. I'm getting ready for some dinner when I get back. Well, we'll walk past the Chambridge Hotel again. We'll have a look about the Chambridge Hotel. So that's about the Chambridge Hotel. 
was built in 1817 by local entrepreneur Exuperius Pickering said that wrong, totally wrong so it's certainly been there a few years Jamebridge Hotel right, we'll soon be on the towpath like I say it must be uh, in use that bridge it's a way to get to a hotel <laughs> Right, we're on to towpath now. Langotland Wharf, one and a quarter miles. I think the Welsh miles are different to English miles. Just seems a long way a mile and a quarter, that. Look at that view down there. Stunning. Certainly seem to be a very long uh, mile and a quarter that. Never mind. It's been nice. On a nice sunny day. With a cold wind. I must apologise to any Welsh speaking people. My pronunciation of uh, the places is totally wrong. But... Uh, I'm trying my best. It's a beautiful walk though, it's a beautiful walk. Got a little iron up there. I never realised it had a motor museum. It's only a small one, but. Langothland Motor Museum. Quite a long building actually. Another place is not home. Under Bridge 48 again, or 48W. I think this is where the horse drawn barges. Uh, turn round just here. Widest part of canal anyway. It might be a cold wind but that sun's warm on your face though. Some lovely houses along here. See a lot of smoke. Or is it diesel fumes from uh, engine shed? See how hard it uh, railway yard. I don't know where that uh, big plume of smoke come from. It's like a doer down there now. Just about make them out. I think I must be about halfway there now. Mind you, I thought that one I went into what or two falls, but uh, I think we're nearly down to Roadbridge now. Going at Roadbridge. Right, so back under Roadbridge. Certainly faces straight to sun now. Right, so uh, looks like we're into Langothland now. Or working his way to more houses than that now. I can't remember this is Bridge 48. Or is it 48A? We'll soon find out when we get there. Right, those are little cottages. I can't see for some. We're actually 46W. 
Oh, we're only two out. Well, that didn't take as long as what I thought. I'm back here nearly now. See where it uh, barges at horse toes. The marina's just over there. So we are back at marina. That was quicker than what I thought. The wind's certainly blowing down the uh, canal now. So here we are back where we started on the canal walk. So you can do self drive day boats here as well. That's where they keep the horses that uh, in the summertime or when season's open for towing the canal barges. Cafe's not open anyway. If you carried on that way, you'd end up at uh, the aqueduct and along to Jerk Aqueduct as well. So that's where we started the walk and that's where we finished the walk. So what we'll do is have a walk round uh, town centre Langothlin now. Taxidermy Studio has been there for a few years. been down that bit. So further up. Good river for kayak, you know. There's no way I'm gonna pronounce that. <laughs> I know it says Langola and end. <laughs> Traffic's calmed down a bit. There's a small memorial over there. It says Langothan's uh, War Memorial 1914-18 and 39-45. It's a grand building that one. Langothlin Silver Band. It's a few years since I've been to Langothlin, so it's uh, nice to have a walk round. Walk round town centre now. Nice selection of shops, anyway. Can't go any further, and some will be on lens. Metropolitan a Drinking Fountain and Cattle Trough Association. Well, I'd like to think I were drinking out at the same uh, water trough as cattle. So, a lot of work going up uh, on roads. Very noisy. <laughs> Some quaint little shops, though. So he booked in for lunch for half past one at the corn mill. Horse of water. Walk along the riverside here. Different view at uh, train station. 
Some black clouds coming over though. Walk up the river side of it. Nice little church there. If I remember right, it comes to her like a play park because that's where we took kids when they were little. It's like they're even doing work up here. Certainly good wide river up here. Right, so that's it from Langothlin. Hope you enjoyed that walk up to the Horseshoe Falls along the Langothlin Canal and also a little wander around uh, Langothlin. If you did, don't forget, do the YouTube stuff, give us a thumbs up and all that. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and click that little notification bell. It'll tell you when we've uploaded some more videos. So from here, I'm going to have me lunch with Karen and her sister at the Cornwall just down there, near the bridge. And uh, then we're going to go to the Pontilly uh, Aqueduct. Probably totally pronounced it wrong, but we're going there this afternoon, and that's probably another different video. So we'll see you from the Aqueduct. <laughs> Bye for now.